。OK， 嗱，咁啊好開心咧，我嚟到 Unbox 咧，其實都有 Unbox 一個其中嘅負責人啦 ，Dan 咧接受我哋訪問嘅。好 ，Hi Dan。Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, giving us time to have an interview with you. Hi, no. Yeah, thank you for yeah, dropping yeah. by. Yeah, the, the, the first time we met here and the first time we do an interview. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's right. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So, here's some of my questions. Uh, uh, how comes you choose Hong Kong and Toys and Games Fair as a fair you to promote unbox here? Um. Well, for one. We're very well established in Hong Kong. We've got our base of operations, even though we are like located like internationally. Um, we find it's a very good hub for meeting people like internationally. Like we, we've made so many interesting contacts, like be it creatives or people that can help with licensing or manufacturing or distribution. So there's such like a um, diverse footfall that comes through. It's always worth attending. Mm. So you think it's the best place, one of the best places here located in Hong Kong? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think for, for for the depth of like diverse you get from mm -hmm. the people that, that come through, then you know it's, it's very hard to beat. Um, you know, we, we have we do well. We've previously done shows in, in Europe and in the USA and and in Japan, um, and you, you get like a, a certain demographic that comes through. But like for example, in Europe, like sometimes it's, it's mainly just like buyers or distributors or people of that nature. But here we've had like. Um, Animation companies mm. or people that want to do like uh, promotions and like um, events in shopping malls, or then we've had people that can help out with licensing, or like I say, just new creatives, people to come in with interesting mm. art, that, and then we can start developing new projects. Yeah, you're mentioning about many advantages here to do uh, exhibitions, but what is the best thing you think uh, you, you get from Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair? What's the best thing you ever have? Oh my goodness, um, <laughs> I think that the the best thing is like the it's the individuals. I think it's the the opportunities, uh, in particular. Like last year, we we've made some like fantastic uh, contacts that, and we've maintained and built relationships. And based off those relationships, um, we've uh, had the opportunity to diversify into brand new projects mm. outside of like our um, outside of toy manufacturing. Mm. Stuff I can't really disclose at the moment, but it's, it's very very uh, very exciting new directions for for Unbox. Maybe not this year, but I think as we develop it, I think in 2021 we've got some really exciting new things happening. So with the toy fairs, you can acquire some new directions or new potential markets your company can explore. Absolutely, I mean, I mean, completely out of like the uh, the, the, the the toy kind of world that we're we're kind of like firmly entrenched in. Um, it's given us like other opportunities in other categories. Um, that like really really exciting, not, not just for us as a company, but for the artists that we represent as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool. So besides all the good things or advantages you have uh, mentioned, but do you have any suggestions uh, for yourself uh, to suggest to the organizers? Uh, is there anything they can improve much better to have much better results? Um, I, you know what? I I think um, I mean. This year is uh, obviously quieter for for, for reasons mm -hmm. out beyond the control of the the, the event organisers. I think uh, apart from that, like year upon year, yeah, we've been very happy with the, just like the professionalism and, and the support from the the, 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 the council mm -hmm. um, and the opportunities that they brought to us. And I think um, just. Uh, like from the standpoint that you know, I'm based in the UK, and uh, the, the trade committee that like they, they contact me in the UK to make everything okay, and like you know, they need any support. So I think I've got, I've got no complaints um, on that front. I think it's just unfortunate that the, 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 the current circumstances have made people like I think more reticent to, to travel um, than it's like I say out of control of the organisers. Well, thank you so much for all the good comments here, or all the good words here. But uh, do you think uh, if we can put, uh, you know, most of the people involved in the industry, like designers, companies, brands, IP owners, or IP or licensees or license licenses, they all group together in a whole industry. Do you think it's much much better to have? Create more opportunities for all the peoples in the industry. Yeah, I think that's quite a, quite an interesting um, suggestion. Maybe so. I, I think. Um, I mean, we. I mean, obviously, we specialise in art toys and, and work like with licenses. And, and for us, uh, uh, what, we, what, what we do is, uh, you know, we, we develop products at a very high standard and for a very particular clientele. Um, so we, we we don't really conform with. The other companies you see at, at, the, at the toy fair, so we, we are like a kind of like slightly unique. But um, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that that kind of works to our advantage as well because of 
you know, we, we are Unbox and we have that reputation and there, there's very few people that do like similar type of stuff that attend the show. Yeah. So maybe I'm being selfish by thinking like, you know, I'm quite happy with us just being here doing it. But yeah, I, you know, equally, it would be good if there were like other similar companies here and like, you know, yeah. that we, we could share and maybe that would bring like a greater footfall in for that particular type of like genre of product. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very cool uh, for the participants here in the industry to, to share their, all their experience and sometimes maybe some uh, factory or some maybe some investor they would like to talk with your company and to see if there is any new opportunities to make new products or new projects that is uh, you know can contribute the whole market. Sure yeah I, I think yes it's uh, a, an, an interesting uh, comment I think you know just just from um, just from walking the, the, the show uh, like today I think there was maybe that's that's, that's one criticism. There, there was nothing that really kind of like draw inspiration from, or something that really kind of stimulated me creatively as, as I walked around. So you know maybe, maybe that I don't know how you do that. Like you know you you get in like uh, like other creative like um, oh, what's, what's the word like uh, you know other creative styles. I think you know maybe maybe that's something. But I don't know how you would draw that kind of talent in. You know. But maybe it's just like maybe it's just a bit of a flat year, yeah. like concepts and product-wise. Or of course you've got like the other like bigger toy companies that are, like they they exhibit off-site as well. So you know maybe it's just like, it could be just one of those years. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I think it's very good year for. Uh, yes, I'm um, thank you very much and for today's interview and give hey, no, us some pleasure. very good words and uh, comments uh, for all the questions. And I hope you and uh, wish you very successful this year. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank thanks for dropping by. Thank much appreciated. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hi, hi, Sandra. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. And uh, you are from your company is from Poland, right? That's correct. We are uh, from Poland. How many years you've been here in Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair? Well, actually, I cannot remember by now. So many years we've been yep. here, basically okay. since I work with the company, mm. which is for twelve years right now. Okay. All the time we have been exhibiting. Before that, we'll be exhibiting too. Hong Kong Toy Fair is one of the most important toy fairs for us. Mm -hmm. So basically, here each year, even though our products mm. are being produced in Poland. Yeah, as we know, Poland is uh, have a far distance from Hong Kong. Uh, why why your company uh, cons considering uh, using Hong Kong toys and games fair to promote your company products? Well, I think that Hong Kong uh, Toy Fair is unique for us yeah. because, and for many companies from Europe as well because here you can s meet the customers from Asia mm -hmm. but also from other regions like yeah. South America, North America. Yeah. Basically, a lot of, lot of people come over here. Yeah. And what do you think, uh, what is the best thing you can acquire for Kobe here at the Toy Fair? What is the best thing you mean? New customers, new, customer. new distribution yeah. uh, markets and uh, New opportunities for our product. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the results uh, you already have? Basically, this year we have noticed that uh, there are less people than the previous years, mm -hmm. but that's probably because of the situation yep, uh, yep. for the last months. Mm -hmm. But in general, there's like a quality mm -hmm. contacts that will uh, transfer to order, so it will tra transfer very often into long term mm -hmm. cooperation. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. And. Uh, Besides the strengthness of this fair and, and what uh, good result you have already gained here, uh, what, what will you suggest uh, the organizers uh, to improve much better mm -hmm. for, for your company here? Well, so far we are quite satisfied mm -hmm. uh, because it's very easy to apply for the fair. It's very easy to you know repeat the booths that we have mm -hmm. or change anything. It's very exhibitor friendly, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so for now, I guess we are good. We'll see mm -hmm. what future will bring. Okay, cool. So uh, would you mind uh, please uh, give a brief introduction for your products? Because as we know, Kobe is making bricks products. But uh, you know, in the market, we have different brands, you know. But what is the difference or uniqueness of the Kobe toys? Can you show our audience? Well, basically, we one of the very 
a few companies that produce in Europe, in Poland. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most distinctive feature of our product is quality, basically. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to compete with anybody. We are trying to offer unique products, something that is quality, something that will be interesting for the collectors, like for instance, Sabaton World of Tanks license. Yep. And uh, this one will be good for lot of lot of adults yep. something educational like uh, stem space shuttles mm -hmm. something good for children mm -hmm. as well as for smaller kids like a super wings license so basically we have a very wide assortment of items from smaller kids and for grown-ups for their parents and grandparents as well something that will bring the family together to spend time yeah, I totally agree with uh, Alessandra. Uh, Kobe's product is quite different, have their own specific, uh, have their own strength and own difference amongst the other brands in the market. So I think uh, they can capture uh, some other market that is uh, new for the, for the whole market, right? Okay, so I hope you are uh, getting more successful uh, result here and, and then uh, Kobe products will be, be more successful in future. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.